Hi, this is Vicky from the Spellbound Bee Company and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the beautiful Lady Mary necklace with a beaded pendant and a, a chain with some extra pearl links added onto it. You can find the instructions for this as a free download on our website at www.spellboundbead.co.uk For this project what you're going to need is two colours of size 11 Delica beads a size 8 seed bead, an 18mm crystal disc, you're going to need some 4mm pearls, I have pre-prepared some of these as beaded links for the purposes of the video, uh, some eye pins, some trace chain, or you could use curb if you prefer, um, a clasp and some oval jump rings. So let's get started. I've got a size 10 beading needle prepared with two metres of Nymo thread. I've tied a keeper bead about 15 centimetres from the end of the thread and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this thread through my hands just giving it a little bit of a pull just to take out some of the, the give in your thread. So just do this down the length of the thread like so. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start by making the bezel that goes around the edge of the bead here. So we pick up the 18 millimeter round. Now this has got a front and a back, so just be aware of that as you're, um, you're working your pendant. And the other thing to be aware of is because this bead has got a hole that runs through it rather than a rivoli, you've just got to be aware of the thread colour. If I put a white thread or a very pale coloured thread through the middle of this stone, it would be really obvious. And again, if I put a very dark colour through the middle, it'd be quite obvious, but the gold does tend to sink. So just be aware of that as you're, when you're choosing colours for your piece of work. Okay, so then we're going to pick up Delica and a pearl, Delica and a pearl, let's move these so I can reach them, a Delica and a pearl, and a pearl, and do this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to pick up a Delica, and we're going to run that needle in the thread back through the middle of your bead, whoops, to give you a strap that's going to sit around one side. Okay, you can see I've got a knot developing there, so just take the time to get rid of the knot before it develops into something that's a bit tricky to undo. Okay, so there we go, that's one half. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other half of the pendant. So again, Delica, Pearl. pearls and a delicate and then it wears down and pull take your needle through there and then what you want to do is go through this first strap of beads again. So go through them here. You just pull on your, your keeper tail thread, that'll just pull the the first row of beads up a little bit tighter and that makes it easier to go through them. There. Oops, not forgetting that last little delica. 
all the way through. There we go. And then we're going to pick up a 4mm pearl. And we're going to come all the way through this second set of beads that we've just put on. Again, you want to try and keep your tension reasonably sturdy. That doesn't slide about too often. I'm going to go through just the first delica and the pearl in that stitch there. Okay, right. what we're going to do next is we're going to make the frame that sits on the top and bottom of that section of beadwork. So we're going to pick up one of the gold delicas and three of the dark rose and another one of the gold and now we're going to go back we're going to go through the pearl again in the same direction as before through the following delica and the following pearl like so and that will make a little frame now at the minute it's going to try and sit around the side of the pearl what we want to do is encourage it to sit on the top okay now the next stitch we're going to do is one and three and then we're going to connect this to the previous stitch by coming down through that gold delica and then through the pearl through the gold delica and through the pearl And we're going to repeat this all the way around. Okay. Again, just make sure you keep bringing this to the front of the thumb. This is a nice pendant because you can make it in lots of different colours. And depending on what colour you put around the edge of the beads here, it will change the colour of the, um, the stone that you use in the middle. I've chosen to pull out the, the purpley, pinky purple tones that are in this stone. But there's also um, sort of golds and ambers in there as well. And there's a, a touch of green in this one. So, you know, if you'd have changed, if I'd have used a different delica or a different colour pile around the edge, it would have made a big difference to the colour of the stone or the colour the stone appears. So play around, find a combination that works from you, for you. And if you uh, if you like, send us a, send us a picture. Um, Send it onto our Facebook page or you can tag us on Instagram. If you use the hashtag made it with spellbound, then we can find your posts nice and easily. And that's on Instagram or on Facebook. And uh, yeah, let us know what you do, let us know what you think as well. You know, if you'd like to see something different, then do tell us. Oops, just a bit tricky. So do it a bit at a time. There we go. Just, you know, you don't have to do the whole sweep of bead there in one go. You can do it in in a couple of, a 
couple of passes if you need to. Just hold your tail out the way, make sure it doesn't get caught. One, Again, every time you take a, a pass through this, it's just strengthening the structure as well, so it's making it nice and sturdy. Um, it's quite a whoops, only one. It's, uh, it's chunky without being too heavy, so uh, it's definitely a, a nice thing for your jewellery to be. So you can also change the chain that you use on this. We've used a, whoops, we've used an actual chain, but if you wanted to, there's nothing to stop you changing it for a, a beaded chain or um, a piece of cord or a piece of ribbon. There are as many as options as there are viewers. You could put it onto a pre-bought chain as well. You don't have to. Make your own if you don't want to. Okay. Oops. Nearly there. Now for this last stitch where we're going to connect the beginning of the work and the end of the work together, you've actually already got both of your gold beads in place. So there's the one there and the one there. So if we come up through that gold bead, pick up three and then go down in the same way as we've done the rest of the way around. And then we're going to come through the pearl. So now we're going to join this into a circle to make it nice and smooth. So you come up through the gold delica on the side. And then we're just going to go all the way through the three beads on the top. Just through those three beads. And you can see that's starting to close up already. Keep coming through. Last one there. Okay. And there we go. And if you give that a pull, you can see that's pulled in much more tightly to sit around the top of the stone. 
So what we're going to do is reposition the needle for the second side. I'm going to go down through that gold delica and then we're going to go through the pearl. Like so. And then if we turn the work over, you can see we're back in the same place to start on the other side. So again, the first stitch of the row is a gold, three rows and a gold. And this time we're working around in the opposite direction. So we'll go through, through the delicate in between the pearl and the next pearl. Just try and hold this flat as well, try and keep it flat between your fingers. And again. Down. And through. And there. Now, if you prefer to be working towards yourself at this point, you just need to make sure that when you come through the delica on the side, um, you come through the pearl towards yourself rather than away. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, as long as it's working in a way that's comfortable for you. So, just a point to consider. Nearly there. Oops. I'm going to go through might start to get a little bit tight as you're going round because um, you're getting quite a lot of thread inside your pearls. If that does happen you can swap your needle down to a size 12 needle uh, which is a little bit finer so it'll go through a little bit easy, more easily. The other thing to bear in mind is the pearls, because of the way the pearls are made, sometimes the ends of the holes can get a little bit blocked with the the coating so just before you start give them a, a little poke out with a, a pin or a head pin or a needle or something just to make sure the holes are nice and open and then you shouldn't have any trouble getting through because the holes are a nice size hole okay. just need to move the tail of my thread along and keep going. Oops. on the side of the delica. So this would look quite different if you used faceted beads around the edge of the stone as well rather than pearls or you could go full on bling and you could use a, a four mil crystal around the edge. If you're going to do that you just need to give some thought to how you're pulling your thread through because um, crystals can get quite a sharp hole and you don't want to wear your thread right 
I've made a, a thread loop there that's going to turn into a knot. So what we're going to do is we'll take the needle off the thread like this and we'll just pull that back pull that, whoops, pull that thread back through This is why you have to concentrate on what you're doing and not chat while you're at it. And just check. There we go. Let's pull that out that way. Oop, wrong way. Like that. There we go. Find the end of the thread and then re thread the needle. If you struggle with threading a needle, if you just tip pinch the tip of the thread between your thumb and forefinger in your sort of non-dominant hand, so in my case my left hand, and then push the eye of the needle down onto it, you should find it's more cooperative than trying to hold the needle in the air and poke the thread at it. So finish that stitch off. And always, always, always take your needle off your thread. Because if I'd have gone back through there with my needle, there's a high probability that I'm going to catch the threads um, inside the beads. And then I'm just going to end up with a massive knot. And if you end up with a, a knot, sometimes in the Nymo, the knots can get a little bit felted uh, because it's made up of lots of strands of thread. Um, so... If that happens, it basically you'll just have to cut up your work um, because it'll just get itself into such a knot that you can't undo it. And uh, for the sake of an extra, what, less than a minute did that take me? For the sake of an extra little bit of time, it's worth, worth doing it properly. So, okay, nearly there. Still awake? And we'll go through. And we'll come through. Now again, we're back to the, the last connection. So we do this the same as we did the first one. So we come up through that gold bead. Pick up three, two, three, and down through the other one. Okay, through the pearl. Back up through the gold. And again, we're going to run our needle through all of these pink beads again to reinforce and to pull it into a nice circle. And just make sure you catch all of the beads as you're going around. There we go. that nice and firmly again you'll find that it sits so that your stone sits and is held within within the beads if you do need to if your tension's a little bit loose just go round it a second time it, it won't hurt to do that so just go through the beads a second time if you need to and that'll hold it tight so now we're going to add the outer row to the pendant so we're going to come down through here, through one of those gold delicas again, 
and out through a pearl. It's all starting to get a little bit tight in here now, but just take your time and you'll persevere. So what we're going to do now is the same as we did with the frame around the side, around the front. I'm going to put this time. I'm going to pick up five beads. So one, two, three, four, five of your delicas. And you're going to go back through the pearl again. Okay. And then this time we're going to pick up four. We're going to connect to the previous stitch through the pearl, through the delicate between the pearls, and out through the next pearl along. And again, four and through, that one's getting caught slightly, so we'll just give that a little wiggle. Do them one at a time if you need to. So through the pearl. Through the delica and through the next pearl around. And that's the case, maybe. That's where moving down to a, a size 12 needle might be useful. Because it's a finer needle, it's a little bit more flexible. So, just find it will have gone through a little bit more easily. This is the last time you'll be passing through the pearls. So. As you can see, while I've been doing this, I have bent my needle slightly. It's nothing to worry about. Bending needles are great. They go around corners. You get into little tight spots. And uh, I think I've got more bendy needles than straight ones in my collection. So... Just keep going with this frame around the edge. We're halfway there, so that's good. Oops. Now, if you do would prefer to work with a shorter length of thread to do this, you can. Just be aware when you're joining in a new thread about where you need to go through the beads again so that you don't block a hole in a bead that you need to go through with a knot. So, two, three, four. Okay, now, this is going to be the back of my pendant. I want this to be the front. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to push these delicas so that they're sitting at the at, on the, the back face of the pendant. So it's just something, if you've got a, a double-sided stone like this one, something to just bear in mind while you're going through. Let's turn this back over so I don't change direction halfway through.
it's one, two, three, four. Moving your tail thread out of the way and come through again. Down. And through. And then this needle's just getting caught in that delica. So there we go. And again, as we've done on all the the previous rows, just come up through that first bead there. This time we'll pick up three and connect it through there. And then what we'll do is we'll go through that delica again. And pull. And then we're going to come up through the delica and then through those three that are the middle three that you've added or the, the three that are sitting along the pearl. Now to add the outer edge of this pendant I'm going to pick up a size 8 seed bead and go through the three there and so that size 8 will just sit between the two and then do this all the way around Keep going through. to the, the last one. Let's go through. Go through, go through your first size 8 bead and then you're going to come through those first three delicas there again. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the hanging loop, the bail that sits on the pendant. So we're nearly there with the pendant now. So this is done with square stitch, so you pick up one delica, you go back through the delica you're coming out of and go through the next bead along. Pick up one, go through. And go through again. And then the third stitch. There. and come back through and we're going to reinforce that I'm going to take the needle through 
the row of beads on the pendant and the new row that you've just added. And we're going to repeat that five more times to make five more rows. That's a three bead and reinforce. That's one. Just use your fingers to control the beads and make them sit where you want them to. It'll just help keep your tension nice and even. You just pinch it in place. Not great for the video, but it does make a nice even tension. Oh, got two beads together there. So again, I'll just unthread the needle, pull that back out, take one off. Re thread. So only three more rows. So if it helps you to keep track, three more rows is going to be nine beads. So if you just pull nine, that's six, seven, eight, nine, you'll know when you get to the end of these beads and that that's the end of your bale. So there we go, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows in total. If you're using a thicker cord or something for your um, hanging chain at this point, you will need to maybe make that a little bit longer. So just bear it in mind, try it around what you're using. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it over. And we're going to connect it back to the first row that we off the pendant and pull that through. There. And it's easier to see if you've got it just held out slightly. Yeah, we'll go through those again. Mm 
make it nice and secure so then what we're going to do is finish off the thread end so just come away from where you're working slightly just come through a few beads and then we're going to tie a knot I'm going to go under and through go through a few more beads and do the same thing again then We'll go through another couple of beads and then we'll trim the tail off. We'll finish the, same, the other end of the thread off in the same way and there's your pendant complete. So now you've got your completed pendant we can make the chain for it to hang off. So to do this we're going to make some beaded eye pins. We're going to thread a 4mm pearl onto an eye pin then with a pair of wire cutters, I'm going to trim that down so that it's about six to eight millimetres above the end of the pin, uh, bead, sorry. And then we're going to turn a loop. So there's more detailed instructions on doing this as a, a download on the website. And there we go. So that's the beaded link there. So we're going to make the short swag that sits above the pendant first, which is this one here, then we'll make this swag and then we'll connect it all together. So I've got four two centimetre pieces of chain and I'm going to connect those together with a pearl in between each one. So to do this we're going to twist open the link on one side of the, the pearl and hook a piece of chain on. Whoops. Uh, that's just got the end from where I cut the chain. So we just need to get rid of that bit. Should be able to just break that out. Let's try again. No, that's not open wide enough. I'll just open that a little bit wider. There we go, and that will go on. And then we'll open up the link on the other end. There. And hook that on. Then move down to the next end, the other end of the same chain. And again, twist. Always make sure you twist your loops open rather than pull them apart because it'll just mean that you can the, the the loop will stay sound and you're not going to work hard and the the wire that the the pins made of because if you do that it can go brittle if it goes brittle um, it can it can snap which obviously is not not what we're wanting to do so again just on the end there this one I think I might have just made that loop on this end a little bit little, but we'll make it work. There we go. And then pin that in there. And there's the, the central swag. And now what we're going to do is we've got some five centimetre lengths of chain. And we're just going to thread one through the middle of your bail there. So if you've got a chain that's a little bit tight, a nifty tip is you use the off cut off your um, eye pin and just bend the end of it over into a hook, just like that. Hook the end of the chain on and then thread that through. It'll just give you Squeeze that shut a little bit more just so it's not catching. Just give you like an extra extra pair of fingers to do that. So there's a 
another another little tip for you. So what we're going to do onto either end of that chain, we're going to put one of the links. And just again twist and hook it through there. We'll do the same on this side. Close that one up. And then on either side of these pearls, we're going to add another five centimeter length of chain. Now twist that open. end of the chain on. Close that up. And then the other end of the chain. Or the side of the link, sorry. That one. And close that up. And there's the central section done there. So what we'll do now is we'll connect these two chains together with a, a pearl link. So open up the link and if you've got one loop that's slightly wider than the other use the wider of the two loops because we're now going to put both ends of the chain onto one loop and then close that up and then same on the other side so open both ends onto the loop there and there and you've got the central bit of chain so next I've got two six centimeter pieces of chain here and we'll just open up the loop and connect This loop here there. and connect this with a piece of chain and then we'll connect these last two pearl links we've got here onto the end of the chain Now these last two pieces of chain I've got here are 10 centimeters each but here's where you can make the adjustment for the length if you want to make it longer or shorter you just cut these pieces of chain longer or shorter so you can cut them slightly longer to start with and trim them back or you can measure them against against your neck so I'll put that onto there and we'll pop this onto here. No, I've got that the right first time round. Onto the end here. And then we just need to pop the clasp onto the end of the chain. So I've got a pair of oval jump rings and a clasp set. I'm using a bolt ring and a tag. And I'll use two pairs of pliers. I'm going to attach, if I put the, the necklace down as it's going to be worn, so if I put it down that way around, because I'm right handed I'm going to attach the clasp half, the bolt ring half, to the right hand side of the chain. If you're left handed or making something for a lefty, then if you attach the clasp onto the left hand side of the chain, then it will be easier for them to operate. So just something to bear in mind. So we'll go through there, through the loop on the tag, and close that up. And connect that together. And there we have your beautiful Lady Mary pendant with a beaded chain.
again if you like what we do let us know um, if you've made one and want to share it with us then you can find us on facebook you can find us on instagram you can find us on twitter or you can even go and send us a good old-fashioned email <laughs>